I have a Steam Deck, so why the Mayu Mini Plus? The Steam Deck isn't exactly pocketable. I just wanted a handheld that I could fit in my pocket and go. I fell in love with most of the aspects of the Mayu Mini Plus, but there was just one thing that ruined it all for me. Let's take a closer look. I'm in love with the form factor of the Mayu Mini Plus. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I bought this handheld. But it does have one flaw that unfortunately is a deal breaker for me. More on that later. The overall look is meant to resemble the OG Game Boy. The controls on the front aim to emulate the Super Nintendo controller and it feels pretty similar. There are two R and two L buttons on the back with the two inner buttons being raised which was meant to keep the player from hitting the outer buttons by mistake. Nice theory on paper. And for some other handhelds this might work but in this situation, eh. It also has a small menu button in the center which makes it easier to bring up options to exit the game, load, and bring up the save scenes. You also have a headphone jack, SD card slot, USB Type-C for charging, a volume rocker, and the power button, which honestly I can't stand because it's flushed with the system. The only button on the handheld that they decided wasn't gonna stick out. You explain that to me. The Mayo Mini Plus shares the same SOC with the Raspberry Pi 4, so you can expect the same performance. If it had a comparable front end, which it doesn't. So some of the games do suffer because of this. There is screen tearing. Some of the games don't even load. And others have some artifacting. Even with all that said about the screen tearing, the emulation on the Maya Mini Plus is overall pretty good. And the 3.5 IPS screen looks absolutely amazing and there's no viewing angle where you can't see this screen which is definitely a plus. There is definitely a ton to love about the Mayu Mini Plus but sadly it's all ruined by one simple thing and that's the back buttons. It's all ruined just because of the position of those buttons relative to the size of your hands. It's not ergonomic at all. But that is kind of expected with the size and the form factor. It's unfortunately awkward and uncomfortable to press these buttons. It becomes increasingly difficult to press these buttons in games that require you to press them in combination with the action buttons. This was really painful in Metroid Fusion during an intense boss fights when you had to press R with the A button to shoot a rocket and it made it difficult to defeat the enemy. Don't exactly have huge man hands. Just imagine if you have hairy, large gorilla hands. The buttons would be a little more useful if they were at the top left and right because it's far more comfortable to hold the Mayo Mini Plus that way. That's it, can you believe it? Only one thing ruined the entire handheld for- The handheld. <laughs> ruined the entire handheld for me despite everything that the Mayo Mini Plus gets right. The beautiful screen. The fact that it's pocketable. The face buttons. And oh yeah. Let me not forget the cool looking atomic purple shell that's very reminiscent of the old Game Boy Color. I want to attempt to add other emulators and a new front end to the Mayo Mini Plus. If you're interested in that, you know what to do. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Also, don't forget to check us out on social links in the description down below. As for now, I'll see you 
in the next one. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.